estuary air or coldest estuary air despite being 100% in Italy from both directions it's probably more synonymous with the Tour de France than it is the Giro d'Italia it does feature in the Giro d'Italia I think it's been in four or five times first time way back in 1911 which is one of the first iterations of the Giro but yeah it's been in more than twice as many times in the Tour itself so the Tour has crested the Col four or five times most recently this year stage four of the 2024 Tour de France we started in Pinarello which is where I've started today and finished on the mighty Col de Glibier in the Valois it's also hosted I think three or four stage finishes and three or four stage departs as well independently so yeah in total that's it at least 10 or 11 maybe more times it's featured in the tour so it's by no means one of the big favorites but it's fairly popular nonetheless so it's hard to define exactly where the climb starts but if you're starting in Pinarello like the tour did and it's around 55 kilometers long for me today I'm doing about 52k so that puts it right up there with the longest climbs in the tour but like I say it's hard to define exactly where the start is the first the first 10 or 15 kilometers at least the gradient barely gets above three percent so that's not really climbing but if starting down in Pinaretto you start around like 300 meters above sea level and the climb tops out in Sestria at just over 2,000 meters so it's a mighty mighty climb nonetheless even though the vast majority of it is very low angle unfortunately you're on a fairly busy main road virtually the whole way up it's not the most enjoyable of rides you can start out on a really nice cycle lane from Pinarello for the first five or six kilometers or so but it very quickly becomes a gravel track and you have to join the main road from then on in if you knew where you're going or you have more time to explore you could dive off into all the various small towns and villages but you're making the rides very stop start and longer and I haven't got time today there's really not a lot to see so far like I say you're on a busy main road either hemmed in by trees or by buildings but I'm sure the views improve at some point because 2,000 meters is pretty high we're going to get up there somehow first hairpin turns of the whole climb even got a bit of cobbles to boot as well it's finally starting to feel a little bit more mountainous now a little bit more open a few more views and some more cobbles Ooh. so this little town where that cobbled hairpin is Finistrade or somewhere along those lines a really cool looking fort up there which unfortunately I haven't got time to stop and explore but that's certainly something to check out if you've got the, got the time to spare so from Finistrade it's 20 kilometers to go so well over halfway now in terms of distance but still most of the vertical height to get left to do don't know what height we're at yet but still not really done much in the way of climbing so a bit of trivia for you the word Sestria is derived from the Latin for 60 like cisterni or something don't know what it is but so cool because Sestria is 60 Roman miles from Turin so presumably the Romans must have come over this way at some point in time if they can come conquer the Grand St Bernard Pass then this would have been a piece of cake for them much much easier terrain definitely feeling much more like we're on a mountain road now very alpine now finally got a few more hairpins again and I think this last steep stretch before the plateau up to Sestriere the great thing about hairpins other than the fact you get a little rest on the corner at the apex usually is the fact you get a nice view back down from where you come from which has been no views so far on this ride because it's just straight up the valley <laughs> the 
this final section after the siren really drags. You think you're nearly there, but it's actually probably still four or five kilometers from that sign. It looks deceptively close, but it's not. This time you really are nearly there. That's the edge of the town right now. Made it. It ain't pretty, but I'm here. Boy, that was a long climb. It's definitely tough considering it averages only about four and a half percent. It's so long, such a low gradient for most of the way that you don't know whether to be grinding out in a big gear or spinning in a low gear. Inevitably, ends up grinding out in a big gear most of the way and definitely put far too much effort in low down. I'm absolutely exhausted now. It's made even tougher by the fact that there's no kilometre markers, so you don't know how far you've gone, how steep it is. I don't know way of gauging your effort. I'm somebody, I'm somebody who rides without any kind of computer, so yeah, just going hard from, from the gun really. Definitely, definitely put too much effort in. Whew. Can't hang around here now, it's getting dark pretty quick. Still a long way to get back down, but luckily you can absolutely fly down, so should be down in less than an hour. Just to find a coke first and get some energy back.